So we've talked about um, uh, properties or parameters that describe the, the mass uh, of the soil. Um, let's talk about uh, properties that describe the, the, the liquid phase of the soil. Um, so the first parameter that we can define for this is something called the water content. Uh, sometimes also described as the moisture content. Um, and it's given the, the simple little W. Well, what the water content is, is the mass of the water, MW, divided by the mass of the solid, MS. So this is the water content of the soil. Um, and it's usually expressed um, either as a ratio, so as this ratio, mass of water or mass of solid, or sometimes as a percentage. So you can just then multiply that by 100 to, go, to give it as a percentage. A common misconception here is that it's the mass of the water over the total mass of the soil. Um, but in this case, it would be ms plus mw. And that's uh, wrong. It's not the total mass. So it's not a fraction of the total mass. It's just a ratio between the mass of the water and the mass of the solid. So the, it's not a percentage of the total mass. And that's a common misconception. So make sure you don't, um, you don't confuse that. Um, another parameter to describe the, um, the liquid in a soil is something called the saturation ratio. Now what the saturation ratio describes is how much of the volume of the voids, so VV in this case, how much of the volume of the voids is taken up by the volume of water. Um, so saturation ratio, as I saw, um, is really the volume of the water divided by the volume of the voids. So you can see that the, as the volume of the water approaches the volume of the void, so as this bar grows bigger and bigger, this ratio um, uh, tends towards 1. So for a fully saturated soil, SR would equal 1, and that's saturated. Um, and the inverse is true is SR it's closer to zero. Um, it's dry. You have a dry soil. Um, and again, this is sometimes expressed as a ratio between zero and one, or as a percentage. So you can just multiply that by 100, and you get uh, SR between zero and 100%. So. Um, a question that I'd, I'd like you to, to, to read up on or, or, or try and answer is, can you get a water content um, or a moisture content of greater than 100% or greater than 1 if we're just talking about the ratio? Um, and in what soils might that, might that be possible? Um, so earlier we said that the, um, the, essentially the dry density was... Um, equivalent to the bulk density with the water or the mass of the water removed. So you might be left thinking, is there a way to, to describe um, bulk density, dry density, together with water content? Is there a relationship that, that binds these three things together? Um, and well, the answer is yes, there is. And you might want to, to try and do this yourself first. Um, you can use this three-phase um, uh, model, so the parameters that describe volume and, and mass, and use those to um, relate the bulk density, dry density, and water content into one equation. Um, but I'll go through that now. But you might want to try that yourself first. Okay, so I've, I've wrote the, the three um, relationships out here in terms of their um, uh, three phase. Um, the uh, base units on the three-phase model. Um, now, the first thing that we can do is remove this um, this v value, this uh, um, the total volume 
um, value by dividing the bulk density by the dry density. And we can see that if we do that, um, this V moves onto the top here and it cancels out. So what it, this looks like is if I take the, uh, dry, the bulk density, we don't need to and we divide it by the dry density. Um, that equals the well, bulk density. This, um, and divided by the total volume, so that's the bulk density. And divided by the dry density, we just multiply the bottom here by ms. And multiply the top by v. And you can see that both of these Vs cancel out. So what we're left with is the mass of the water plus the mass of the solid all over the mass of the solid. So that's if we take the bulk density and we divide it by the dry density. That's what the, uh, the relationship looks like in terms of this three-phase parameter model. Well. We can separate out the denominator here into the into the top part of the um, the equation. So we can rewrite this in terms of just M W over M S plus M S over M S. So that's really just uh, separating out these two on the top. Now what you can see here is this, what we've got here is MW over MS, which is, in fact, the water content. So we can replace this value here with just W, the water content. And you can see that we've got MS over MS here, which must be 1. It's a plus 1. Um, and that equals the bulk density over the dry density.